And we're heading out to the new zoo to check in on the animals. One of them's Neil Anderson. Uh, no, no, no. Oh. Hi, Neil. <laughs> hey, good morning. Well, we got a couple little sprinkles out here, but it's a welcome relief, especially from the hot weather that we've had. And, you know, I know you guys are talking a little bit about Christmas coming up, and we thought, well, maybe we'll do something about the snow leopards. And you can check out uh, one of our snow leopards here. Uh, we've got uh, Buster, and he's kind of hanging out here. And what he's, what he's doing right now is uh, having what we call a blood sickle. You know, check this out. Now this is something, what we do is, you, you know, these guys get a, a beef diet. And in addition to that, we'll take, you know, a lot of the blood from that diet as well. And it will make, you know, popsicles for them. So you got both, now you got Buster and Tammy here. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to slip this one in here so they each have one. And it is a way to, it's a mechanism for them to go ahead and cool down. Now, especially, you know, animals like this, you know, the, I mean, you'll see snow leopards in captivity, you know, and uh, they're an endangered species. Most of the time you're going to find these in uh, northern zoos. And that's just so that we can obviously keep them cooler because they are built, okay, to go ahead and conserve heat. So even on, the, uh, on their paws, they've got fur on their paws. So what we have to do, especially when we get into these 90 degree temperatures and almost 100 degree and high humidity is, we keep the dens open. You can see we've got fans over here. But one of the neat things that we can do is keep them hydrated, but then also to go ahead and give them, you know, these type of blood sickles. And that really works out nice for them because they like them for one thing, and that can cool the insides of them. Now here's another interesting fact, uh, you know, as far as keeping these guys in captivity. You know, the first serious uh, really approach to keeping these guys in captivity was back in 1891 at the London Zoo. Huh. They, rece they received their first pair and that's kind of how, how the whole uh, process started. Uh, down at the uh, Bronx Zoo they've been, uh, you know, they kind of started right after that. They've done a wonderful job and, you know, this is a, a program that a lot of our zoos I think right now there's 55 zoos across uh, the country that are accredited that have uh, these uh, particular animals here, and we're hoping down the road that these guys will produce a little cub as well. Yeah, they're a beautiful animal. Yes, they are. All right, thanks, Neil. Hey, sounds good.